So here I am in Excel and in earlier versions of Excel, say like Excel 2003, adding a header and footer meant going into the page setup. Well, here in Excel 2013, it works exactly the same way in Excel 2010. To add a header or footer, you simply click on Insert. And over here on the right hand side of my ribbon, you'll see that it says header and footer. And I just click on that and you'll see here now it's now got a space for the header and footer. It's broken down into three sections just like before, but it's all just a little bit easier to read. So if on the left hand side here, I wanted the current date on my ribbon, I simply click on that. And I could put in, I can just type in at and the current time and that will bring up the date and time when you go to print. Okay, so you could also put here up at the top something like created being butterfingers here created by Gary so you can see really simple and easy to use you can put something in the middle here if you want you could just add a picture just by clicking on picture and then you can choose a file from somewhere on your computer so I could go from a file I could add in the jug and free logo and that could go up at the top but you can also add in information in the footer. Now you don't have to add in any information into either of these. You might just want to add it into one. So down at the bottom here, I just click in here. And down here, I might just want, up at the top here, I've got the page number. I'm just going to click on that of number of pages. And if I just move my screen around a bit, you can see that they've got that here in the ribbon. Now I also want the file path, that's where it's stored, so that's, you know, like how you might see C colon backslash my documents, that kind of thing. I might want to put that in. So what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom here and I'm also going to include the file name. So up at the top I'm going to put in the, I'm just going to click on the right hand side here. I'm going to put in the file path and I'm also going to, well I'm not going to put in the file name. I could have just had the file name if I wanted or I could have had the path, which is all of it. You can also put the sheet name in. There's a sheet up at the top. So you've got all those options. So you can see that up at the top here, you've got sheet name, picture. You can just type in whatever you like. You can switch backwards and forwards from the headers, headers and footers just by clicking on this button here. It takes me to the header. Clicking on this one takes me back down to the footer down at the bottom. So other things you can do, you can have a different first page. If I click on that, that will have whatever you put in there will be different to all the other pages. So what it's done, the information that it's put in has actually gone onto my second page here and all subsequent pages will have that. So if I want something different in my first page here, I just have to go back into my top bit here and I can put in this is my report. So that will be just on the first page. So other options that you do have as well, different odd and even pages. If I click on that, you'll have on even pages, you'll have something different to odd pages and you just have to put something in onto each one of those. So the one that I did was actually, I'm gonna to have to actually put some information in here because that was page number one when I then turned it into different odd pages and then had the first page being a bit different as well. It's now actually on page number three for me. And you can see it here going across. It's actually giving me a good preview of, of what's happening. So that's how the headers and footers work. So you can have different first pages you can with a different header and footer and you can also have subsequent different ones as well. The other thing I wanted to show you is down at the bottom here, you can see it's now got my path. So let's just take a look at what happens when I do a print preview. I just need to go into File, choose Print, and let me just move this across so that you can see what's going in in the Print Preview section. So this is the first page. So I had a different first page, which is the only one that's going to have this as my report at the top. I can now move on to the second page, which is an even page, and I didn't put anything in there. Remember, I could have different even and odd pages, so I could go back and put something in there. 
But let's just take a look at the third page. So on my odd pages, I can have it the date, the time created by me. And you'll see here as well, it's got page three of three at the bottom and also the path name and also the sheet that I'm on as well. So that is how you can insert headers and footers into Excel 2010 and 2013 with a different first page and also with different odd and even pages as well.